Hello everyone, this is Therese Wong. In this video, I'd like to talk about um, body weight and weight transfer in our piano playing. Now, a lot of people talk about uh, techniques, but uh, when they all talk about techniques, it's all about finger exercise and finger independence, finger dexterity, etc. etc. One thing we need to mention is actually about weight transfer, how to uh, use our body weight uh, in our piano playing. Because of course, uh, to play fast right, with our fingers is very important, but how to use the weight to help us play fluently, uh, with confidence, uh, with good sound and speed uh, is also very important. And that is not just because our fingers go fast, but it's also the coordination of different parts of our body. Now one thing I'd like to mention uh, in this video is the body weight transfer. So now I'm going to show you some exercise to help you with this. First of all, uh, notice uh, how you sit at the piano, right? Uh, so keep some uh, distance, not too close, not too far apart, so that your forearms are comfortably situated between you and the keyboard. Now, um, about the uh, height, right? about the position of your forearm, it should be more or less parallel to the ground, like this. Uh, this is like the basic starting position, you know, with uh, some people uh, being shorter, they might like to sit a little higher so you can uh, put the weight into the piano, or some people being taller, they might want to sit lower. But in general, start with a parallel position, and then you can adjust from there. Now the second thing is to actually put our feet firmly planted on the ground, right? Eventually, we will be able to move them around, you know, depending on the need in our playing because you know when we play something more advanced we may need to move more but right now you try to place them on the ground instead of you know uh, doing this <laughs> because we want to actually uh, distribute our body weight uh, evenly and also support ourselves during our playing so that we don't put a lot of weight under our fingertips so we can play really fast <laughs> powerful sound and we can do that too. Now, so let's try doing this, right? So put your feet on the ground, so then you can move to the left and to the right. You know, try to sit up, right? You don't have to be like sitting like really straight, but you know, try to sit uh, straight instead of curl down and then just kind of move your body from side to side, right? To the left, middle, and to the right, and then move back. So then you have your feet supporting you instead of like you're using your hand right, to support yourself. And that's very common um, with kids when they play, you know, they have a shorter build and, you know, the feet is always like dangling. So try to put a stool under their feet so that helps them to have a stability at the piano. Now, we can move side to side. Right? So you can feel, oh, I'm actually moving along, right? My body is moving. It's not just like your hand moving like this, <laughs> okay? Now you can do something very simple, uh, play something simple like a scale and slowly first. As we go all the way to the right, so when you're all the way to the right, uh, you can feel your body weight more uh, under your right hip and your right foot, right? So your left side slides the up because you put more weight here. Right side slightly up. Right, so you can move actually instead of like just moving your arm in front, you actually move along. Your whole body move along, coming up and down. And depending on uh, the music direction, right? Because not it's not like oh, you always go up and down like this, right? Depending on what music you play, so you're gonna follow where the music's going. Now another exercise you can do is. Uh, not actually not playing first. Try to like just you know put your feet, um, both feet, uh, on the ground, and then without you know the, the aid of your hands, stand up. Right, so you can feel actually uh, your weight is right under your feet and your hip, and without uh, help of your hands, so then you're not putting a lot of weight here. Okay, so when you play piano, what you want is going down to the key fast. It's actually not about hitting it really hard. Of course, when you're playing a bit louder, 
it we require a little bit more force, but it's much less force than we always uh, imagine. You use the whole body. It's better than just hitting with your finger. So there's something you can work on, you know, start with something light. Do you see my arm is uh, my arms are moving, like flowing. And make sure you don't stop like this, right? Your wrist down. After you finish, even when you're holding it, it should be easy. Relax. Of course when you hit it, it's a tension, but once you hit the note, you pretty relax. So try this exercise at home and see uh, what you think. And this is just a very simple uh, bass exercise from uh, the beginning and uh, there are more exercises out there and uh, also in my um, technique transformation course there are a bunch of exercises uh, to help you, to guide you through uh, transforming your piano technique forever for the better.